to the higher levels of this hierarchy of needs, such as self-actualization, although more so esteem and belongingness. So the esteem needs, the feeling of accomplishment, being part of electing the first female president of the U.S. would give you a feeling of accomplishment. It gives you some prestige. You are part of, you know, a historical movement. That's pretty cool.
achieve everything you want to in them. That, if I'm to give a full explanation of Trump versus Harris, that has to be a large part of the conversation. A large part of the explanation is painting the picture that there's going to be bad things that happen if the other person wins, plus good things that will happen if I win. Groceries are going to be cheaper. We're going to drill, baby, drill. We're going to drive down energy costs. Those energy jobs are going to create more jobs, so more people are going to be employed high-paying jobs, that's going to stimulate the economy. The economy being stimulated is going to drive down interest rates. Interest rates being driven down stimulates the economy more. And all of that economic activity, the engine, is being fired hotter. That drives us further and faster. And everybody gets more for less. Now that sounds silly, but it actually is, generally speaking, the way that a relatively free market economy works. It's when things are artificially strangled that everybody gets in a pickle, and it's potentially difficult to recover from. things are being threatened, we tend to question everything. Is this a good place for us to set up camp? Do we need to move our tribe to a new watering hole? Are the people in charge worth being our chiefs? Generally speaking, when things are bad enough for a sustained period of time and there's not a direct reason and even when there is, we tend to want to change things up. Not even necessarily in terms of names, but in terms of systems. You know what? Us having one big chief, I don't like it. I want us to have a triarchy. I want us to be, yeah, I want there to be, you know, a, a council of three.
white off saber tooth tigers to gnaw on a, a bone. I get to go to the store and, you know, pick up a thing of meat. Now is that meat twice as expensive as it was four years ago? Yeah, that's true. That hurts. It doesn't hurt as much as being mauled by wolves trying to protect my deer kill. Guess what? I don't think anybody watching this has ever been mauled by a wolf or a bear while they were processing their, you know, elk kill. If not, please let me know. I would be extraordinarily interested in a story like that. That would be awesome. Please let me know in the comments if you've got a big swipe on your chest. That'd be pretty cool. So, please let me know what do you think I missed in terms of why Trump won this election. Thank you for your time and attention.